Hey guys, I'm Joe from Marmoset, and this is Getting to Know Toolbag 3. In this episode, I'll cover portrait lighting, as well as camera and post effect techniques. I've got this great character model here, but my lighting and presentation is really letting them down, so let's set up a scene that does them justice. I'll start by adding an Omnilight and moving it to the top and to the left of his head. This will act as my key light, or my primary light source. I'll use the skylight as a fill light to control the ambient lighting. To get more contrast in my lighting and shadows, I'll turn the skylight intensity down and the key light intensity up. I'll adjust the light width setting to get softer shadows. This can also help to reduce artifacts with the shadow map system. Now I'll add another Omni light. This one will act as a rim light, which is typically a light source placed behind your character to highlight the silhouette. I'll crank up the intensity of the light here to give a nice contrast to the lighting. And then I'll hit the duplicate button to clone this light and move it to the other side of the face for a similar effect. Control D will duplicate objects as well. I'm pretty happy with my lighting now, but the background could be better. So let's load a custom background image. To do that, go to the scene menu and add a backdrop item. This guy has always wanted to travel, so let's send him to New York. Another very useful feature we've added is the save frame option, which can be found in the camera properties. Save frame makes it much easier to frame your camera by showing you a clear preview of the render area. Now that we have a good idea of what our final shot is going to look like, let's tweak the lights a little bit more and pull in some of the colors from the background image. To tie it all together, I'll go back to the camera and turn on depth of field. Zoom in a little bit and then middle mouse click to reset the focus point. I'm pretty happy with this fellow now. So let's take a look at another exciting new feature. If you go to the Capture menu, you can upload directly to ArtStation. This is really straightforward. Just create a project or add your render to an existing project, enter the pertinent information, and publish. That wraps up this episode of Getting to Know Toolbag 3. Be sure to check out our website for more tutorials and information about our products.